Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about SQL default constraint example. Before that, SQL constraints are used to specify rules for the data in a table. If there is any violation between the constraint and the data action, the action is aborted by the constraint. Constraints can be specified when the table is created or the after table creation. In SQL, we have the following basic constraints. Not null, unique, primary key, and foreign key. Not null means it will not allow a null value for a particular column. Unique means it will ensure that the column ha is unique. Primary key means both of not null and unique. Foreign key means a relationship be made between a, a table to the another table. For example, student and student address table. So student address primary key will be stored as a foreign key in the student table, the main table. So in this video, I'm going to talk about default constraint. The default constraint is used to insert a default value into a column. The default value will be added to all new records if, if no other value is specified. Let's see the demo. So I'm going to create a table called student table with seven records, with seven columns. Okay. And for city, if you see the city column, I'm creating a default constraint. That is, I'm going to have a default value for this city if there is no value has been specified during the insert action so this will have this default constraint will insert this default value to that particular record so let's create this table with this constraint default constraint so I've created the table now so I'm going to insert one record called student with six columns without city okay so I didn't mention the city now what will happen is this default constraint will work and it will insert this London default value to the city. Let's see that. I'm going to execute that. Looks like uh, a row has been inserted. So I'm going to let's check whether the default value has been inserted or not. Yes, the city London has been inserted because if you see here in, in my insert record, there is no London. There is no city column at all, but how we got this London because of default constraint. So this is how default constraint works in SQL query. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.